Let's explore how to record a macro with relative references and stay tuned for a final trick to make it fully dynamic. Start by selecting cell A1. Next, go to the Developer tab, click on Use Relative References, and then press Record Macro. Name the macro formatting and assign the shortcut key M. Once that's done, click OK. Now let's apply some formatting. Select the headers of your table, go to the Home tab, make the text bold, and choose a fill color you like. In this example, we'll use dark orange. After that, select the range A2 to D18 and fill it with a lighter shade of orange. Next, format the table by applying all borders. Then, adjust the column widths by selecting columns A to D and double-clicking the edge of any column header. Finally, return to cell A1. Go to the Developer tab and click Stop Recording. Now for the final trick. Go to the Developer tab, click on Macros, and choose Edit to access the code. Here, you'll see several lines of code. Look for the second line of code, where it says Active Cell, and after the parentheses, replace it with Dot Select. And to make the range dynamic, copy and paste the following codes to ensure the macro can dynamically adjust to the table's size. Repeat the same step for the next line of code with Active Cell, and close the macro. And that's it. Let's test the macro. As you can see, no matter how long the table is, the macro applies formatting to the entire table dynamically. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks.